Welcome to the homework for lesson seven. This is module three of grade one. Don't forget your name here first. And it says we're going to cut the strip of paper clips. Measure the length of each object with the large paper clips to the right. That's these right here. And then measure the length with the small paper clips on the back. Uh, if you have two sided pages, you're not going to be able to do that because once you cut out the uh, the small ones on the back of the page, it's going to actually cut off part of these figures. Uh, so hopefully you have two sided pages. Uh, if, but uh, if you have to, you can just use small paper clips and large paper clips if you have paper clips. Uh, I'm going to go back and forth to different pages. First I'm going to measure everything with the large paper clips. And I've got a cutout. Here's the first thing right here. And I've got a cutout to measure the paintbrush. Match our endpoints up. Right Here's the endpoint of the paintbrush. Here's the endpoint of my sort of large paper clip ruler. Here's the end point of my paintbrush, and you can see where it meets my ruler. So it doesn't exactly match up with the end point of the paper clips. The, the large paper clips, uh, there's a lot more of them than just these four. Uh, I've shortened a little bit so it would fit on the page for my computer. But we'll look at this. We're, we'll call it that's closer to four than it is to three, because it's a lot more than half of this, this last paper clip here. Uh, it's 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 almost all of that paper clip, so we'll call it four. And let me just clean this up a little bit. And all this and that. And I'm gonna have to record this on the next page because that's where the chart is. So remember the paintbrush was four large paper clips. So here's the paintbrush, length and large paper clips, four. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to measure the scissors. Now it even gives you A way to mark the endpoints here so we just really have to measure that line so you don't have to worry about which handle to start with or which blade to end with we're going to use the endpoints of this line that's given to us so I'm gonna to have to rotate this just a little bit so that it matches up with the line make it sort of parallel and then see how many paper clips that is and that looks like it's, I'm looking at this one here, that one there, and this one here. And it means a little bit of this guy here, but not enough for to count them. So I'm going to call that three large paper clips for the scissors. And the next thing to measure, we've got an eraser, a crayon, and a bottle of glue. So let's figure out the eraser. Gonna have to get this to go on with those endpoints. And it looks like it's not gonna be more than one for the eraser. So the eraser is gonna be one. And the crayon, we're gonna have to turn this a little bit more. <clears throat> Here's the crayon, the end of the crayon to the other end. It looks like it's most of, it's all of this one here, and it's most of that one there. So we can call that two. 
So the eraser is 1 and the crayon is 2. And now the bottle of glue. I'll match up the uh, end point of my line of paper clips, my chain of paper clips with the bottle, the bottom of the bottom of glue right here. So these are matched up at the bottom. And at the top, I mean, this comes out just about as good as you'd want it to be. That's one, two, three paper clips. So the eraser's one, the crayon's two, and the bottle of glue is three large paper clips. The eraser's one, the crayon is two, and the bottle of glue was three. And now we measure them all in small paper clips. Erase all this stuff. Get rid of my large paper clips. Back up to the top. And I'm going to get my small paper clips. All right, here it is. And match up our endpoints from the end of the paintbrush handle. And I'm looking at. And I've cut this a little bit shorter just so it'll fit on my page. But it's one, two, three, four, five. And it's most of this sixth one. So I would call that six. Six small paper clips. Now back to the first page. And time to measure the scissors. I've got to rotate this a little bit there and for small paper clips I'm looking at one two three four and this is kind of right in the middle so it's right in the middle you could call that you could call that four and say it's not enough of five to call it five but I'm like it's close enough to the middle of five I'm gonna call I'm gonna say it's five if I had to choose between four and five I'm gonna choose five so the scissors are gonna be five and the eraser like one and a little bit more but not really half because it kind of looks like it goes about that far on the second one and that's not quite halfway so I'm thinking it's more it's closer to one than it is two so I would call the eraser I'm gonna call the eraser one and the crayon line up my endpoints for the crayon and I can see one two and right here that's just about halfway that's hard so I'm looking at that I'm thinking you could you could call that three if you could, wanted to call it two I wouldn't argue with you two or three and I'm just gonna say it looks like it's about halfway and I'm gonna call it three but if you said two you could be right so I'm gonna call the eraser one and the crayon three and the bottle of glue Two, three, four, 
and that's like right halfway again. So you could call this one four or five. So I was thinking the eraser was one, right? And the crayon was two or three, and I liked three better. And then this one, uh, the bottle of glue is one, two, three, four. You could call it four or you could call it five. This is four or five, and I'm gonna call it five. So when I write these on the next page, it's gonna be one, three, and five. Eraser's one, crayon's three, and the glue, five. And that's most of the work right there. Uh, the second part of this page says, find objects around your home to measure. Record the objects you find and their measurements on the chart. Now, I'm not going to tell you how long the stuff is in your own house or your own apartment or wherever you live. So um, find my, my advice to you is to find something that's shorter than the strip of, of uh, the pictures of paper clips. So you want to measure something. Don't try to measure... Uh, don't try to measure a window or a bed or the length of a room or or an entire refrigerator with this uh, that, that's gonna it's gonna be difficult instead pick something small like a pencil or uh, a fork something like that uh, so pick smaller objects and you're gonna write their names here that's where you put the name of the object and the spelling doesn't matter that much just enough so that we can tell what it is you're trying to write about and then measure it in large paper clips just like we did on the first page and write that down and then write the length in small paper clips right there 